By way of background, uh, the Hickory 1 well was drilled in Q1 2023. Uh, it was successfully drilled and encountered multiple reservoir pay zones. Uh, the well is currently suspended uh, ahead of a flow test in Q1 2024. We're currently working through the flow test design. Uh, contracting and permitting has already commenced. We've secured Rig 111. Uh, we're in the final stages of the permitting process and we look forward to the flow test commencing with the construction of the ice pad. Uh, so as Ashley alluded to, uh, we're in the fortunate position where we have multiple reservoirs to test. Uh, typically you start from the bottom and work your way up. So we'll be starting with our deepest reservoir, the basin floor fan. We will plug and isolate each zone as we go up the well bore, and then we'll perforate the casing and flow back each zone individually. And the benefit of that obviously is that we can actually individually classify the reservoir fluids and performance in each individual zone. So we'll be reviewing the reservoir performance and the fluid characteristics of each zone. And from there, we'll actually look to design a long lateral flow test. Um, and given analog fields uh, in the lower 48 in the US, we know that uh, these types of uh, reservoir properties should, uh, in a long lateral well of around 10,000 feet, should uh, translate to somewhere between 750 and 1,500 barrels of oil a day. The range of possible outcomes will be post the flow test on success. Uh, we would look to uh, put a horizontal well that would be a long-term test uh, and a cash flow generating uh, uh, operation. As to which zone that we'll put the horizontal well in will depend on the outcomes of each test. Each reservoir has slightly different properties and we certainly expect to see slightly different uh, hydrocarbon or fluid types from each reservoir. So ultimately, which zone uh, we'll, we'll look to do a long-term test in will depend on the results. So the timeline of information flow from here is, look, we are completing the permitting process at the moment and securing the long leads. Uh, we're looking to start the project uh, in terms of operations and building the pad and mobilisation in early January. The flow test itself, I'd expect to commence uh, late January, early February. The program itself will go for between 40 to 50 days, we anticipate. Each zone in itself will be between eight and 10 days. Uh, and the rest of the time will be spent on pre, pre and post preparation and mobilisation or demobilisation. The results themselves will be known um, within a matter of days of each of the zones being tested. We obviously will have to analyse and review those. Uh, and once that's finalised, we'll update shareholders. <laughs>